Hello, welcome back to the second part for today. We shall be looking at a complex adaptive blended learning system framework. What is the learning outcome? By the end of this topic, you will be able to assess online learning using the complex adaptive blended learning system framework, and you will be able to evaluate facilitation using the complex adaptive learning system framework. What does the framework say? The framework has six elements, and these six elements stand as a subsystem that come together to form a system with the learner at the center. What are these elements? We have the learner, the teacher, technology, content, learning support, and the institution. Now, let's see how they interrelate. Looking at this diagram here, you could find the teacher, the content, technology, learning support, institution, and the learner at the center. The teacher here coming as a facilitator, as a moderator, as a guide on the site, as an advisor. Now, the content is designed in such a way that it will allow for collaborative learning, individualized learning, deep learning, problem-based learning, interactive learning. And the technology is provided as being synchronous and asynchronous. The technology could be offline and at the same time, it could be online. Now we have the learning support, which comes a form of service or support. Then you have the institution bringing the strategy, support, service, and infrastructure. Now we have the learner, who is a researcher, a collaborator, and a practitioner. If you look at this diagram again, you see that the learner is at the center and others are interrelating, bringing in the learner at the middle. That shows that the learner need all this to be able to progress. Now, let us see the roles that have changed because with the adaptive framework, the adaptive is saying that when you come in, within the blended mode, the role of this element will change. And let's see how they change. Now, the learner is now moving from passive to active learners. The learner is now moving from passive to active learner. The teacher new nomenclature from teachers to facilitator, mentor, advisor, and moderator. Now, you discover that for the content, the content is moving from being shallow to deep learning. This particular framework is emphasizing deep learning. Then the technology is moving from adoption to adaptation. You have to adapt the technology to suit what you want to use it for. Again, from technology integration to technology for learning. So there are two different things. You have technology for integration, technology for learning. We calls for new roles for the learners and the teachers. Then the learning support or the learner support there is a shift also in academic support to technology troubleshooting. You have the uh, material access, online communication strategies, learning strategies, e.g. how to manage your time, collaborative skills, and the like. So in this area, you discover there is a different role. When there is troubleshooting, you are in a virtual learning environment. What do you do? Who provide the support? They will have the institution also a shift in infrastructure support to concentration on technology infrastructure. Because we have gone beyond just having the building, teaching within the four walls, but now, yes, you still need the four walls, but not the way it was in the past. So you need more of the technology that will help to drive the particular learning that is required. Now, let us look at the application of adaptive the complex adaptive blended learning in online facilitation which is our focus now we're looking at the learner remember the role of the learner has changed from passive to active learners and with this what is the application for the facilitators there you have to use engaging learning activities give individual and group assignments encourage collaboration and teamwork during facilitation using breakout rooms. Let learners choose their team leader, 
and repertoire and make presentation. Let learner assess each other and provide feedback comments. Again, look at the teacher. The teacher role too has shifted. So at this time, you do not teach. Rather, you provide guidance, you an advisor, you are going to moderate and you're going to mentor all the learners. Then look at the content. They could have as a facilitator, you may not have been the one that developed the content. So what do you do? You have to look out to identify the learning outcomes in the content. They ensure that use problem solving techniques to achieve the learning outcome. Because you may not be the one that have developed it, but you could look out for what has been worked out there and work around it to ensure that you use the problem solving techniques. Use flip classroom, scaffolding, and question technique to deliver or guide the learners. They use discussion forums. Now, coming to the other part, which is technology, be sure of the available infrastructure. Be sure of the learner's level of knowledge in technology use and be ready to provide technical support to the students. Now, coming to the fifth one, which is the learner support. Be sure of the available access devices before facilitation. Be flexible with the use of access devices. Provide technical support to the students. Use positive feedback, comments, and not harmful comments. Again, provide mechanism where you are the learners can share their challenges and receive support. Finally, on that, encourage the uh teamwork because as learners support the with working within the team they could support one another without necessarily waiting for the facilitator the teacher or the mentor now finally on this the institutional support also you from remember it has changed from just providing the walls but right now the type of infrastructure that will be needed is more technological based Therefore, be sure of the available infrastructure for both the learner and the facilitators before you go into facilitation. I have a book here. You can go through it, read to get more. In summary, we have looked at the role of theory in blended learning. We have looked at the six elements, the learner, the teacher, the technology, the content, learning support, and institution in the framework. Finally, we look at the application of this framework to online facilitators. So having said this, we have an assignment, which is a takeaway. On this assignment, for one of your courses, choose a topic and prepare a guide for an online facilitation using the six elements in this particular framework. Now, you're going to share what you have experienced or your experience in the live class section. So with this, I say thank you for listening.